right foot. Okay, guys, the red light means on. Okay. Uh, I call this meeting of Wildcat Fiscal Court to order on February the 9th, 2021 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Sam Small to lead us in a prayer and a place to play. Thank you. Straight to Heavenly Father, Lord, we just ask that you would be with us tonight in the decisions we make. We ask that you would just watch over and take care of, of everyone that's uh, out and about and through this weather, Lord. We just ask that you would guide everyone and give them strength to do your will lord jesus we just ask that you would be with justin tonight and tomorrow lord just lay your healing hands upon him lord we ask that you be with all those that are sick and suffering and put your hedge of protection around them and keep them safe in jesus name i pray amen, amen. i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america to the republic which it stands one nation under god Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you, you have the minutes of the January 26th meeting. I uh, need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Sam Small, second by Joe Barnes. Larry. 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 Yeah. Okay. Was it Larry? It, it, was comes, Larry. it came from the left, I mean, so I Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Any discussions, corrections, or additions? If there are none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Minutes are approved. Before you have the bill claim payments and transfers. Make a motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? What's paying this uh, out of emergency reserve for 911 phone, 15,000? Uh, their phone last year, they did something and it made it go up that much a year. That's an annual every... Yeah. Is that for one year? We, we are going to try to get so it looks like uh, another, a judge executive from another county was visiting here last week, and he said he had made some deals with the phone company to get theirs down. So I'm going to ask him uh, exactly what that is. And if there's anything we can do, we will. It's a pretty big. And what's this uh, reserves out of general fund reserve to cop sales tax, 1600 Well, in... August of this fiscal year, they had decided not to charge sales tax on golf memberships and usage, and then August they decided to do it. So we're collecting it, but we didn't have enough budgeted to make that payment into it. So it's money we're collecting. But that was the state deal. State. That was something the state did that we didn't have any. It's not really cost us anything, Larry. We collected it and we sent it in. But we just didn't have a line item. Uh, or the sales tax that we paid, uh, I mean, to pay to the state. I mean, we collected the money. But you had to take it out of reserve? Well, it wasn't budgeted. Mm. Yeah, when you get money in, it doesn't automatically fall where it needs to be spent from. You've got to move it around. So you didn't have a, you didn't have a uh, account set up for the not sales enough. tax? I had an account set up for it, but not enough to cover all that. Oh. But that was because the state said they weren't going to do it, and then all of a sudden they turned right around yeah. and act like they were in India. Yeah. That's typically just, what we do when we have small amounts to transfer. Instead of amending in $1,500, which that's a two-reading process, we just transfer it from reserves. And in the park calendars, $55. Did they buy some? or? Yeah. It's their promotional, other promotional deal. They give them to their customers in the campground, hopefully. Any further discussion? Being none, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The bills are paid. You have the 
Treasures, January 2021 financial statement ahead of you. Uh, we just need to show that we got it. I make a motion that we acknowledge. Acknowledge. Second. Motion by Sam, second by Joe. Uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. It is, a, we have it. We acknowledge we got it. Same deal with the clerk's January 2021 financial report. I'll make a motion to acknowledge we received the clerk's January 2021. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Joe. Any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. It's paid. Hey, before you end your packet there, there's a one page deal there. It has to do with some equipment that we want to sell on dove deals and we have to declare a surplus in order to do it. Uh, the little car that's been wrecked is from the uh, senior center. The uh, uh, emergency management, Charlie's department's got the old ambulance uh, uh, cab there, off the van there. Okay. And then Nick uh, wants to sell the dump truck. Uh, he's got several trucks and that one uh, uh, probably could be fixed if we had the uh, machines and stuff to do it with. The uh, analyzers and things are outdated and we can't, it's electrical problem. We don't can't take one on the It's on the back page of the, uh... I'll make a motion to, uh... will these be sold on government deals? Yes, sir. In include that on your motion if you don't mind. Make a motion to uh, surplus the equipment that we were given here on this page of three items and to place on government deals. I'll uh, second Joe's motion. Motion for Joe, second for Jason. Is there any discussion? Are we not doing the ambulance move? No. Uh, yeah, on government deals, anybody can be in way I'm right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think you just gotta go on there and get yeah. out of there. Uh, Set it up. Make an account. There was yeah. an error in the, the account. Uh, how we got it put out. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, all folks say aye. 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 Post like sign. Motion passed. Fail. 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 Got it. Motion passed. Pass. So those pro those things will be placed on Gov deals. Uh, I put Charlie Shields in charge of that. So he'll be the one to put them on there. Can uh, you send us all an email and let us know when they get on there? Yes. So we, uh, we can see them. Can you put those on there? I'll get Charlie too. Okay. Yeah, we, we just want to know the dates, when the final date's going to be mm -hmm. up for the final bid. And we probably want to know the uh, mileage and everything on them because people ask us, don't we? It'll be on there. It'll be on there. Okay. Cheap, we might even want to buy them. You never know. Go for it. Oh, by the way, just just for the, the uh, just for so you know and and the public will know. Uh, anyone since it's done fairly, it's advertised. It's on the site uh, and it's public ad advertised and all that. There is anyone can bid on, even if you are a county employee or county official. Uh, a matter of fact, I had that looked up this past week to see. Because, deals, is deals? Yeah, because you remember yeah, one of the road employees did buy a piece at one time to there and it was questioned. So but I want to make sure that it was legal to do so. So yeah, you could be on it. Uh, I need a very brief closed session under KRS 61.810, Chapter 1, Sections A through M. I'll make a motion. Motion for second. Second by Joe. And I'm going to ask Jody uh, Ashby to join us for the for just a minute. And then then we'll finish the business and be right back out front. We're going back here. We're going to yeah, let's go back here. I'll make a motion to go back in the live session. Second. second. Open session for me. You got it, Miranda? Got it. Okay. <laughs> All in favor, sit yeah. down and we'll start again. That didn't sound good, good. Uh, For the record, we did not conduct any business. 
No votes were taken uh, in the closed session. Judge? Yes. I'd like to make a motion that we approve resolution 2021-8 for the uh, concerns of who the advertising facility will be for Blue Grass. I'll second. You got the, got the motion second? Yes. Is there any further discussion? Bean, I did roll call that since it's a resolution. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Okay. Uh, then next on the agenda. We're missing something here. We got the, what about the, uh, from the, uh, the house? Yeah, we need to do that. It, it's, it's missed the, it's here. Did you go ahead and take care of that, Jake? The greenhouse? Yeah, it was it's 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 in uh, I thought everyone had got one cent but there was a uh, uh, what see it's not stapled in there it's separate no this was, it was on the yeah what what it is Sam yeah, go ahead and explain it. Uh, Justin wanted this done it's something that I normally do it's something I normally do uh, on my own because of some of the stipulations that we wanted to put on there this particular one needed a Justin one to have a uh, this lease approved. Uh, and the motion he wrote was I'll get to it and read it here. Oh this is yeah, this is I can't I didn't have my glasses on, but yeah, what you told me this is this is not this is not bad. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay. Here, here, here's the motion was I was to make. I was going to read that. I move the court to permit me to execute a lease on the house located on Liberty Street, Hartford, Kentucky, in favor of Ashley Davis and Jennifer Osman for a one-year term in the amount so indicated in the lease. And that's a motion that Justin Moore. Second. Moore. Or I'll make it. I'll make it. You second it. I'll second Any discussion? Being nine, all in favor say aye. Aye. Poll flex sign. Motion <coughs> carries. Uh, we're down to committee reports. Has any committees met this week? The the one up committee met. We had what three of us the first one, and we're going to get back and uh, I think we did a, a survey and sent a copy, and we're going to kind of get some information from. Um, the heads of offices and some employees and try to come back with that information and see kind of what they like or what the, the you know road department heads are thinking and then um, then go from there and say get some ideas from them first and I'm going to appoint a new committee to uh, look at ways to save utilities in this building our utility bills are way out of proportion for here we have a lot of offices here that's not directly under our control. Uh, I'm going to appoint the committee of Ann Melton, Josh Wright, and Larry Town to uh, do that. And hopefully they'll meet before the next uh, monthly meeting. Who's the head of that committee? Josh Wright. Uh, we'll tell you about the COVID report. I'm going to make it very short because we're making a joint report Friday with the health department and Ohio County Health Care and uh, emergency management here. We're making a joint uh, uh, press release on Friday uh, addressing the vaccination, of course. Vaccinations, that's the big thing that we've not been able to answer where and when, and that's some of the questions we're going to try to at least partially answer. What time will that be, Judge? On Friday, it'll be at 9.30, 9.30 Friday. Uh, but our numbers, go, our uh, active cases went down just a little bit this week. Um, we're down to 417, and we were over 500 uh, a week and a half ago. That's the good news. The bad news is we are still uh, at a extremely high number on our death rate. 
We're over 2% in the grad area is, is 1.5%, the state of Kentucky is 1%. So our death rate is too high on this, for sure. Uh, I just want to ask everybody to continue to wear your masks and uh, watch your distance, avoid crowds, and wash your hands. And uh, there is some light at the end of this tunnel. This, is not, this way of life is not going to go on forever. But please go ahead and do your part uh, now, please. Uh, magistrate's comments and requests will go to Sam first. Uh, basically, all I do is everybody remember Justin that he, in his time and, uh, that he comes through this well and back at us. That's all I have to do. Okay. Yeah, just out of curiosity, why, where, did they say why we're, why Ohio County might be? Two percent more so than everybody else's. There, there is not a good answer to that. Had any kind of idea? No, there's not a good. Uh, uh, we had uh, outbreaks here in nursing homes. Could be, but, but other causing, places had them too. Yeah. Other counties had them as well. Uh, so, of course, we've we've got a. Uh, I didn't tell you what go either. We've got an outbreak in our jail. Uh, there's. Uh, we're up to 21 now there. Uh, Clay Horton told me a while ago from the health department. There hasn't been any fatalities from there, has there? No. And not, not any hospitalizations. So that's, we're, we're encouraged by that even though it's very bad news. But it's for really no one. No, I don't, no, that's what, you know, uh, Larry, thinking of him, his grandson, I think he still just want to keep yeah. him, yeah. I think he's going to have a, going to the hospital tomorrow and procedure, so we want to keep Bryce in our prayers. Yeah. Okay. Bryce is they think he's trying to reject his liver. He's a, he's a good kid. I remember the first one he got and how excited they were, so let's keep let's keep Bryce in our prayers. Yes, he's had a world of other health things happen to him. Sorry, Larry, I didn't mean to leave that out. I forgot. <laughs> Joe? Uh, said one thing. Uh, Ralph Miller, the... Uh, Fire Chief and Matt Kendricks. He called me the other day about the funds that we had set aside for the, well, we actually conducted it for the city of Matt Henry for the CARES Act money. And uh, with the mayor's consent, which I've still got to give with the mayor, I've got all this information now, I'm going to go ahead and make a motion uh, that we pull 22600 $98.81 out of the McHenry CARES Act money account with the mayor's consent. And uh, to pay for fire equipment. Right? Pay for fire equipment. I'll say and, and just to, we had talked to the mayor before and Ralph, and, and that's where they were going to go with this. But it's still, we're doing it on behalf of the city, so I want to get his uh, consent on everything. But I just want to make that motion and for him to be able to write the check after we give her the uh, verbal confirmation that the mayor. Should, do I write the check to the fire department or the city? Do you I would prefer we write it to the city, but I will check with the mayor because uh, under the, the restrictions of COVID and everything, it may uh, take longer for them to actually get the money paid okay. because they only have one. They only had one uh, meeting a month, and I don't know how they've been conducting themselves during the COVID time. So after I talk to him tonight, we might just have to write it for the, uh, to the fire department so we can get it paid quicker yeah. for them. But we'll, uh, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. So he's motion and second. I got the second on. Yeah, yeah we second. got the second. Any, any further discussion? Being that, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, opposed, like sign. The motion carries. Uh, I don't have anything, Judge. I just want to say the road department is probably going to get a little work up this week. Yeah. We got some bad weather possibly coming. They're ready for it. They're they're prepared. Uh, I'm going to ask Mr. Haney to tell us to give us an update. Of course, he had to give a handout here. <coughs> Go ahead and tell us. 
Valley. Oh, is that what that idea was? That's what that was. Yeah, I'll uh, do the best I can to do that. I get confused between both letters. I, first of all, I want to say I appreciate you able to come to the meeting again. And uh, Larry Town is not here tonight, and uh, he's, uh, you know, I've dealt with him mostly through most of this stuff, and he's been a, been a big help. But I've got a real concern about our Maverick, or I guess they're now AMS. And uh, I, that letter you guys have was bad enough, but now I've got one that's even worse. And uh, the long and the short is, is, uh, uh, well, I haven't, I haven't got any good news lately. I, I, I was able, if you guys remember, when they were here last summer, uh, Jeff Jones said, hey, anybody, call me anytime. Well, I just want you guys to believe me when I say this, I did not make a nuisance of myself with him. I just contacted him maybe every month and a half, got an update, and uh, we were all led to believe that this thing was gonna go, but, uh, the longer it goes on, the more I'm concerned about it. And uh, so anyway, uh, this second thing I have here is uh, my wife and I talked and uh, we decided to contact James Comer's, James Comer's office to see if maybe he could help us because what we have here is uh, uh, Maverick just keeps applying to FEMA and FEMA just keeps telling them to rewrite it. Okay. So I thought we, I might do some good there. Well, I had a long, interesting conversation with one of his aides, and it pretty much was, as he told me, sir, you need to go to the state level. Okay, so I did that. So I called Scott Lewis and C.B. Emery. Well, uh, I didn't get either one of them because they, they had sessions that day, but Scott Lewis did call my wife back that evening and she gave him the short of the thing and he said that uh, he would be glad to get involved in this and maybe we could uh, make it move, but then he in turn suggested we call James Comer. So my wife contacted James Comer again and now it seems like uh, they're online, they're, they, they want to try to help, but I got to thinking, so in the letter you guys have, I had contacted one of Maverick's guys that was here that uh, Jeff Jones, the owner, had said he was going to give me his number, but he never did. Well, then I was having trouble getting a hold of, uh, of uh, Jeff Jones, but then I was able to get a hold of him, so Jeff told me, he's, so I said, well, can I have Harold Winter's number? And he said, yeah, so he gave me his number. So. Uh, the last time I was able to talk to Jeff Jones, the owner, was back just before Christmas, and he, they were looking to have a conference call between Charlie Shields and Jeff Jones and what I understood was Kentucky FEMA, okay? Now, Jeff Jones said that went well, but he was told to rewrite again. So what I'm thinking about is, is well, we missed the end of July, we missed November. So now, now it's February and June's gonna be here before we know it. So I asked uh, that gentleman's number for another guy that was here at the meeting that I kind of, I had met him at the farm and I thought he was kind of the brains behind the outfit. And uh, so his name is Glenn Hancock, and he's pretty much the FEMA go-between that supposedly gets things. So I asked him, I said, uh, and, and let me back up here, uh, the other guy, the winner's guy, he informed me about two months ago that he was, never, he was no longer under contract with Jeff Jones and uh, uh, Maverick. He was laid off for the winter. So, I, so he gave me uh, the other gentleman, Glenn Hancock number so I called him yesterday had an interesting call with him he said that he's no longer under their contract and doubts that he ever will be because he told me he says I am living with Jeff Jones because he put my name on this last application to FEMA and he said I was a hundred percent against it it was too much money so here's a problem we've got Maverick is trying to make a bundle off of your and I's tax dollars. And listen, I don't want any more money thrown away on this than necessary. 
I just need the river cleaned out. Now, I've got a full-size blueprint, and I gave it to Larry Cowan, and Larry gave it to Charlie, I believe, but uh, it was, just to give you guys an idea of what was going on here, my son took it off, and it was gonna be $100,000 worth of gravel for the haul room, which was exorbitant. There was gonna be all kinds of EPA things for our, I mean, it was just, just unbelievable. And of course, I called Jeff Jones's hand on that, and I said, listen, we gotta get this done. So anyway, uh, uh, this uh, Glenn Hancock, he just said that he's pretty much through with them. So I just want you people to understand that all the guys that were here with him are gone. Raymond Hagen's gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. And now, and I mean, I don't mean to speak light of this, but if you remember, when Jeff Jones was here, he could hardly walk. He had back trouble. Well, hey, I've had two back surgeries. I know how that is, and I feel I feel for him. Well, when I talked to him in like November or so, his surgery, everything was good. Well, now I think the hold up now is is everything isn't good. He pretty much uh, the uh, the gentleman in your letter pretty much told me that uh, he said, well, I'm going to call Jeff and tell him to call you. Well, then he called me, but Jeff didn't call me. I have not talked to Jeff in quite a while. So supposedly Jeff's got a full-time job just trying to get his back fixed, which I can understand that. But I just, uh, I, got a, I, I got a bad feeling about this. And uh, so uh, now my wife talked to Charlie Shields yesterday. And, and the other thing that I'm really, I'm just, completely confused about this whole thing because I was told by Jeff Jones back in October when I was thinking it was still going to go in November, he was telling me all the pluses because he says FEMA has changed everything in 2020. Now we're already 2021, but 2020 FEMA changed everything and it no longer had to go to Atlanta, no longer had to go to DC. Everything was in-house in Kentucky. Well, guess what Charlie told my wife yesterday? It's sitting on a desk in Atlanta, Georgia. So we're waiting and waiting and waiting still. So uh, just, uh, you know, we're looking at three years here now. And uh, I'm telling you, I, you know, I've been so frustrated. I haven't even gone to the river for three months. But I went down there the day before yesterday, and it reminds me, I have relatives in Lyon County and it kind of looked like the Cumberland River going down through there. That's about how wide it is where it's washed my property away there. I've lost close to an acre and a half now. And, uh, uh, and, and I have been cooperative. Like two years ago, I picked early to give them access because I was told they were coming in. Last year, I didn't even plan to help things out. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, the other complaint I have is, with the county, is I've been trying for a month to find out when this contract with them ends. And I still, I, Charlie still hasn't gotten me that. But I, but I, the only positive thing that I can still say is the surveyors have been there, drawn a blueprint up. There's two control points on my property, and there's two control points on the Shree Road Bridge there. But I, 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 feel, I feel like FEMA's, I feel like, I, I feel like Maverick, which is I guess now AMS, I just feel like they're, they've misled us and they're not gonna get the job done for us. And I'm, I'm willing to, uh, to do any, you know, to talk to Comer and Lewis, hopefully they can help us, but it's just, uh, it's a combination. It's just, it's held up and I don't see it. I don't see it going uh, June 1st. So, thank you very much. I'm sure sorry for the trouble, but and I, each one of uh, the guys here understands uh, if it's not totally under the control of our fiscal court, which this is not, uh, we get frustrated too on how slow things, and slowly things move. Uh, but uh, we do, we, anything the county can do on that project, I guarantee you we will do, but it's just very limited what we can do. Right, well, I, like I say, I appreciate uh, 
everything you've done, and I just feel like that, uh, uh, well, it's just, and, and the other thing, I, I, I told uh, uh, Hit, Hitchcock when I talked to him, he's saying it's too much money, it's too much money. I, I agree that, but I said, man, you haven't seen this thing in two years. So any money that's there that was gonna be wasted, it's gonna be taken to clean it out now. And all we need to do is get in there and throw it to the side in the hell with it. But yeah, you know, that, they had all kinds of stuff they were gonna do, they were gonna pelletize it, do this and that and the other, but uh, you know, from what I can see, they're not gonna do nothing. We just get down the river and get attacked, and then we'll worry about the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, say, after all these years, but just not cut it up, put it back on, scrape out as much as we could, I mean. Well, no, we don't. We're, we don't have control of waterways. Right. We can't get our. We can't take care of equipment we own onto that property. Property. We. I don't know. Uh, Larry Cannon was looking into the possibility. Well, I've got, got a new. I've got a new guy from a farmer this year, and I showed it to him yesterday. And he says there ain't nothing. Will re it's 150 feet out to that jam now, and it's just a drop off, 20 feet down. Yeah. So the long and the short is is I'd say a $50,000 cleanup three years ago is a $500,000 cleanup now. Uh, no one else has anything else for the good of this body? We go and stand adjourned. See you in two weeks.